we're about halfway up Alder Canyon today, uh, and the canyon is the namesake of the white alders that were planted here. Um, uh, there are several of them right now. The, uh, there's only one remaining uh, individual of the, uh, the white alders. Uh, they're very fast growing trees, but they're relatively short lived with a lifespan of maybe 40 to 50 years. So the one down toward the bottom of the canyon uh, was planted in 1962 among the uh, earliest of the trees planted here. But uh, it's on its way out. The uh, top third of the tree um, uh, it had died a couple of years ago um, and may not be much longer. But fortunately, new alders have been planted in, uh, in place of the old ones. And they're beautiful trees. As I mentioned, very fast growing trees. These uh, were planted in uh, 2014 and have already achieved the height of uh, some of them probably uh, 20 feet or more. Um, these are deciduous trees, winter deciduous trees. Uh, they do leaf out um, uh, probably sometime in April, but even before they leaf out, they uh, get their flowers, uh, which is a catkin. The male flowers are full of pollen, and that pollination occurs before the leaves even come out uh, in April. This is a tree that provides beautiful shade, um, but is really only appropriate for larger yards. It, it uh, can achieve a height of 80 to 90 feet with, uh, uh, with proper uh, watering. They are moisture-loving plants here in the canyon, of course. They do receive a lot of uh, the runoff, the subsurface moisture that's available just about year-round. Um, and as with a lot of moisture-loving trees, they can have very aggressive roots, so it's not something you want to plant in a small yard or uh, near walkways or water or sewer lines. Uh, this is it's also a tree uh, that's been called the tree of a thousand eyes. Um, you can see, particularly on uh, the older trees, uh, that the, as the lower branches fall off, it leaves a scar that looks somewhat like an eye. Um, the white alders are uh, host to western tiger swallowtail, a large yellow and black butterfly in our area. Um, as well as uh, uh, some other smaller butterflies and uh, moths.